Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Collector. And I'm here with my buddy, Paul Child. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Sega Saturn Retrobit controller. And this one is for the original Sega Saturn. Yes, the original hardware. You did the review the about the USB version. You were, you know, you were pretty excited about it. You're still happy about it. And now we're going to do a little bit of a gameplay and testing of the Sega Saturn Retrobit original version. I already said it. So let's go and let's see what's inside the box. Yes. All right, wild child. So you have, this is the original one, or ooh, which one is the original one? I'm guessing this one is the original one. Yeah. You can hear it. <laughs> you can hear it with a real clicky. But tell me about it. You are the Sega Saturn man. What do you think of the controllers? Well, it feels exactly the same as the original one, but as you already noticed, the clickiness is missing, and that's hmm. the same as with the USB version. Yeah. And it's probably to save costs production costs. Mm, very and strange. That's really a shame. But the mold itself is yeah exactly the same. Exactly the same. The start button feels the same. The D-pad a little bit different. It's mm. a little bit more loose on uh, yeah the new version. Yeah. But still it plays awesome. Oh very curious. And on the back side yeah, the, scr the screws are a little different. Yeah, they use the other screws because of... Yeah, yeah and here you see a retro bit logo. And this is the Sega one. Yeah, only the Sega one, of course. Okay, funny, so it looks similar. Yeah. Okay, the let's weight is also almost the same. Let's see about the connector. Ooh, nice, it all, it both says Sega. Oh, yeah. That's and really nice. Oh, that is really cool. To yeah. make it more legit. Okay, so shall we play some games and let's see what we're going to get. Yeah. I'm very curious now. Sing us on! Alright, so well child, short gameplay. Yeah. And let's test out the controller. A very good game is really typical. Because you need very precise controls to play games like this. And the D-pad is really nice. This is one of my favorite Saturn Smog games back in the days. Unfortunately, only been released in Japan in 1998. This game looks really nice. Yeah, the graphics are great at the time. Okay, let's try out another game. Very nice platform game back in the days for the Saturn. Rayman. Come on, this is perfect. <laughs> 2D platformers, oh yeah. So, works great. Let's fight! Ooh. Let's go, Bob. Ready, fight! Let's test out the fighting game. Oh, yeah. The best way to test the defense. Alright, so for the final conclusion, it's a really nice controller if you're searching for a Sega Saturn replacement. I think this can be a good replacement for your original controller or your racing one. But like my buddy already mentioned, the buttons at the top, the shoulder buttons are not the same. A little bit of a bummer, but still, feels nice, don't you think? I really love it uh, and it's a very good replacement. Uh, also the box is very nice, thick cardboard, nice quality. And it's a very long cable, 3 meters, even longer than the original one. So that's really nice, because nowadays we've got big televisions. So the distance between you and the TVs are uh, greater nowadays than back at the day when you were uh, in front of your screen. <laughs> ah, but, uh, the, 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 yeah. So overall, it's a very good replacement. Let me know what you think of this. Really love to know. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And if you're into, 
Retro Gaming, check out the Wicked Gaming channel. Yeah. Bye bye, people. Bye bye.